listen to a young girl who was saying that the okay, community here is socially very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I want to much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and the more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. And this is a painting that I'm tr trying to come out with and you can see it's a depiction of a market scene and it heightens the activities of women in the African cosmic logic so as you can see I am in the process of carefully selecting the colors that I use. Most of the colors are African colors, as you can see, and therefore I will be introducing them on the canvas. Contrary to what many people think, Africa is a place that has got a lot of nature, greenery and this is something that we have to generally strive at putting that in place when we are painting scenes of Africa and so yeah I'm going to be doing some light shades between green brown and the scenes are coming up and here yeah, I will come here with some yellowish brown soil that you can see in many parts of Africa and again Painting is coming up, as you can see. Normally, you'd expect that in a single environment in Africa, you can see so much biodiversity that you do not expect a homogeneous background when you're dealing with the, the paintings of Africa. The paintings coming up. Let's watch out how I decide to heighten the effect of the background on the features. You have to carefully do that so that you are able to bring out the drama. One tricky thing about painting is that you have to have both a visual as well as a mind perspective of the evolution of your painting. It should come from somewhere and when the when the inspiration has to mesh with realities 
it should flow as well so that you are sure that drama is not lost and the spirit of the game remains what was intended in the first place. So maybe I should be painting some plantains now. Therefore I need a bit of green. As you can see here, I'm trying to splash such a manner that the earlier features of the planting are not lost. Maybe some are getting right and some are affected by the African sun. So these things must be in perspective while you're painting. And should be coming up with some soil type here because I have to dip it to water. Do you see here? And the sweet thing about acrylic is that. You have the chance to correct errors that you can't correct with the oil media and acrylic seems to be the soul of arts it seems to have the effect of put oil of watercolor So we are in the process of trying to, to dress our figures now and a little bit of this kind of color for a headgear is not bad and uh, maybe I should heighten it with a bit of yellow, blue and some white for the garment. Yeah. And one has to be very sure it suits what you're trying to do, maybe here as well. And here, there should be some blend. Okay. And some blue and some white. can help us with these figures here and I can blend I can blend here, yeah. I can blend here yeah. to add a bit of drama maybe even on to this container and maybe it's here and then we in the back row so there I come again and my sauce of beautification beautification So you see that one is able to come up with some nice colors depending on how you are able to paint it, the speed and the skill. Everything can blend. You know. Slowly a board is beginning to light even more and maybe we eat these edible fruits 
some yellow which can be linked also to the African sun and place it in the backdrop where it meets with those figures there and another source of yellowish fruits here almost in the yellow you need to make make it to have some style therefore a bit of green and a bit of yellow can bring us what we are looking for here here and here without the losing our contraption of our drawing in our painting so the painting is evolving as you can see some white here we'll mix in the green to give us some lighter shades that we can use here there should be some form of color harmony in all your work especially if it's not an abstract color harmony helps to make a painting friendly to the eyes and sometimes it helps to reduce discordant tunes that can come out of the sound of colors now this lady here she seems to be very important in this painting because she is having the typical posture of women in the market and there seems to be some pull up around her that probably we have to differentiate here with a bit of green and some other fabrics yep we are there and uh, this is going to do both friendly and it has a purpose you know and don't forget we are in Africa and we have the magic of innovation and just a couple of things to do here so add a bit of some dark shade to to give the the painting a little bit more of character and uh, and to spread out the colors in our magic and our contraption so with this you're sure that you're watching an Ari Aihu painting and just a bit of signing will do the conclusion So, a bit of signing will help here.
that is when well, I, I don't use the lattice pen you can see a bit of that a refocuso is what I have used for now this painting So this is a market scene that I have depicted here and women play a very important role in this kind of scenes in Africa. They are breadwinners and you can see the colors of Africa, the brightness and everything. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the painting. That's what I react. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, this is So be very impressed in this point at all times.